On this spot in St Albans, one of the leading figures of the Peasants' Revolt of 1381 was put to death in grisly fashion. But let's go back and find out what led John Ball to his date with destiny and the hanging, drawing and quartering that was meted out to him here in Market Place. John Ball was born around 1338 and went on to find his calling at the pulpit, becoming a prominent priest, but his radical approach to sermonising and his philosophical beliefs led him into trouble as they threatened the established order. They would ultimately bring him into direct opposition to the king, Richard II, a monarch referred to in his lifetime as a most beautiful king, a backhanded compliment that implied he was somewhat less than an alpha male. But back to John Ball for now. The priest was associated with the radical theologian John Wycliffe and the proto-Protestant Lollard movement. Ball ruffled feathers among church leaders with his preaching, which included articles contrary to the faith of the church. He trained as a priest in York before moving to Norwich, around the time when the population was reeling from being virtually halved by the ravages of the Black Death. After plague, another of the four horsemen came cantering along in the form of expensive wars, namely the Hundred Years' War with France. This caused the overworked and overwhelmed population to suffer crippling taxes to pay for the near-constant conflict in the form of flat-rate poll taxes that bred hardship and resentment, which erupted with the violent uprising known as the Peasants' Revolt. Ball, who had become notorious for his controversial preaching, which espoused his belief in social equality, was imprisoned in Maidstone, Kent, at the time of the revolt in 1381. He delivered radical sermons in many places, including Waltham, Braintree, Billericay, Great Baddo, and Little Henny, among others. This caused concern among none other than Simon of Sudbury, the Archbishop of Canterbury, leading to Ball being jailed on a number of occasions and his potential excommunication. This meant that in 1366 it was forbidden for anyone to hear him preach, but the punitive actions of the church authorities only emboldened him and did nothing to dent his popularity. He would often eschew the sanctity of the church and preach to parishioners outside in churchyards after official services. Shortly after the Peasants' Revolt started, Ball was sprung from jail by Kentish rebels who he preached to in London's Blackheath. It was here that he delivered his most famous rabble-rousing sermon, which imbued biblical references with contemporary social action, an address that led to contemporary historian Jean Foissart to deride him as the mad priest of Kent. Ball said to those gathered, When Adam delved and Eve span, who was then the gentleman? From the beginning all men by nature were created alike, and our bondage or servitude came in by the unjust oppression of naughty men. For if God would have any bondmen from the beginning, he would have appointed who should be bond and who free. And therefore I exhort you to consider now that the time has come, appointed to us by God, in which ye may, if ye will, cast off the yoke of bondage and recover liberty." After the failure of the Peasants' Revolt, Ball was captured in Coventry and tried. He was taken to St Albans where he was hanged, drawn and quartered under the watchful eye of Richard II on the 15th of July 1381. His head was placed on a pike on London Bridge and the quarters of his body were displayed at four different towns as a warning to those who might challenge royal authority. He was vilified in the four centuries after his death in stories, church works, drama and verse, but after the 1790s the perception of him changed. Ball became a cause celebre for radicals, socialists and communists, and among the more moderate who valued liberty over tyranny. The monarch who watched as he died, Richard II, did not get the last laugh either, as he was deposed by a force led by Henry Bolingbroke, later Henry IV, in 1399, and believed to have been murdered by immurement or deliberate starving to death while in captivity at Pontefract Castle. He was buried at All Saints Church, King's Langley, just a few miles from St Albans where Ball had been executed, although his body was later moved to Westminster Abbey. That's it for this video, don't forget to like, share and most importantly subscribe, and you can also support the channel on Subscribestar via the link in the description. Thanks for watching, bye for now.